I'm getting ready to start replacing the uh, capacitors here in the Crosley radio after a little more rust removal. And uh, one thing I want to take note of is I take out the old caps and put the modern day caps in is the uh, foil direction here or the shielding. You can see these old caps here are marked and there's a lot of uh, great videos out there. Mr. Carlson's lab and others have done on how to identify the uh, foil side or the shielding here of these uh, modern day caps that do not have the uh, polarity marked. And of course the importance of that, as uh, everyone has noted, is to reduce the uh, possibility of uh, hum, oscillations, etc. So let me show you a method and procedure that um, I started using most recently. Using my uh, small signal tracer that I built and my audio signal generator. So uh, let's hook up uh, one of the uh, capacitors here and give it a test. So you'll notice I have these leads here coming down to my uh, board and I'm just generating an audio signal from my uh, audio signal generator around uh, one volt or maybe two volts in amplitude and uh, I'm going to start out using a, a square wave instead of a sine wave right around uh, 60 Hertz or so and uh, let's bring the uh, signal tracer over here and I'm going to place it here right in the center push this back just a little bit and uh, let me just vary the frequency here so you guys can hear that. That's 60 hertz. And I'm going to just leave it there around 20 hertz. Let me reverse the leads here. And you guys can hear how loud that got. Yes, what that indicates to me is now I'm putting the uh, signal on the foil side here, the positive side here. My um, outside foil would be on this side right here. So I'll just take a marker and mark that cap. And I'll do that for uh, all the capacitors that we put in. Let's test another one here. Let me vary that frequency here real quick again and just switch these so you guys can see the difference. That's at 20 hertz. That's at 60 hertz. And you can hear how much quieter that is and I can vary the amplitude here just a little bit of the signal coming in. Let's test this guy here. Adjust the amplitude here just a little bit. I'm going to go back down to around uh, 20 hertz or so. So you can tell here based on the, my signal input, this will be my quietest point. So this will be the foil side here. I'll mark that. Let's test an electrolytic here. I'll show you something that uh, I found helpful as well for higher value uh, capacitors. Of course, the electrolytics already marked with the uh, foil side or ground side here. Let's just verify that uh, using this process. Okay, you can see I've got it hooked up and my uh, ground side is going back this direction here. I'm still generating a, a frequency here of around uh, 20 hertz or so. Let me just reverse the leads and see if we can detect any change. Not much. So what I noticed on the higher value caps, I'm going to switch my uh, frequency here. 
up to about 800 to 1000 Hertz. We'll just split the difference. I'm just north of 900 Hertz there. I'm going to cut the amplitude up just a bit. Now let me switch the leads. And you can hear how quiet that is. Again, with the uh, ground side in the uh, correct orientation here to match the uh, capacitor. So the uh, higher value caps that are kind of hard to uh, test just using the uh, finger and oscilloscope method and procedure. This uh, works pretty well, you can see. Let me swap these one more time. You guys can hear the difference there. And you can hear how that quietens down here with the uh, orientation and the correct uh, method being utilized. So folks, thanks for watching. Hope to get started on the uh, recapping here within the next uh, couple weeks or so. Take a little small break. Hope you found this uh, tip helpful for those that have a, a little signal tracer. Lots of them out there. You guys, I'll put a pop up here so you can see the one that I built. And uh, Bob did a great job uh, building one as well. And I think Doug has uh, tested some of those circuits. So uh, I'll put a link up here or put the information in the description so you can check out their channel as well. If you're interested in building a uh, signal tracer there, you've got a few different options there. You can see how simple and straightforward this uh, method and procedure is. Thanks for watching.